In the past few weeks, I've started using light therapy, and it's something that my dad has used for several decades. So today, I would like to take the time to talk about what is light therapy, who invented it, how did it get to the modern day, what are the different applications for it, how is it helpful, and why you should maybe try it. Dr. Niels Ryberg Finsen, an Icelandic Faroese Danish man, basically a scientist from the Faroe Islands, invented and tested out theories with different like, kind of light theories in the late 1800s and ultimately ended up winning the Nobel Prize for Medicine and Physiology in 1903 for his work in, in therapeutic and physiological applications of artificial light for the benefit of the body. From his discoveries that then spread throughout Europe and America in the 1920s, many major manufacturers adopted to help out their workers, to help keep their workers a little more boosted, a little more energized, and, and made in most of their major factories that used these UV lights to give their, their workers that extra pep in their step, which I feel kind of split about. On one way, they're using it to help out their workers, which is great. They're helping their workers maybe feel a little happier, feel a little uppity, uppity, uppity. But also at the same time, they're definitely using it to make their workers work longer, harder, more egregious hours so they get more work done. So ultimately, it's probably for capitalistic intent. So it's kind of a split coin there. But in the 1960s, more applications were discovered, more research was done on it, and it was starting to be used for a more wide variety of things from people, that, from things like chronic pain and arthritis to joint rehabilitation and many other applications for healing in the body. Research continued through the 80s and 90s, and it was finally in the 1990s where major sports teams adopted light therapy and started using it for their players to rehabilitate them from injuries. And some physical trainers had been quoted as saying it can help players heal up to 50 times faster depending on the injury. That's an insane amount, 50 times faster. That is remarkable. At the turn of the century into the 2000s, that's where research even continued and there's more uses discovered. And that's where we get to the one I'm really talking about today. And that is the use of light therapy to combat seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression. Something that I think I suffer from. It's not the worst case ever, but I definitely feel a little more glum in the winter months. I feel like we kind of all do. So potentially it could be beneficial for someone like you. So how does it work? That is a great question. And it's kind of what you might think. It's a big light box and it's there to imitate the sun. It's here there to replicate the sun's light. Sort of take place of that mist sun that you don't see during the shorter winter days and the cold winter months. And the light is supposed to encourage your body to release less melatonin, the hormone that makes us sleepy, and encourage your brain to release more serotonin, the, the hormone that boosts our mood and keeps us awake and gives us that pep in our step, you know? Because it's said the lack of sunlight and the lack of uh, UV light can really throw off our body in a lot of ways. It can even throw off our 24-hour circadian rhythm, you know, the, the, the rhythm of s being awake for 18 or 16 hours and sleeping for 8, then being awake for 16, then sleeping for 8. Our daily rhythm, rhythms, not having light can even throw that off, and that can impact, impact many things in the body, such as digestion, hormone cycles, and other important bodily functions. Hormone cycles being the main one, as I mentioned. How this really works, though, is so your light, your eyes receive the light from your retinas. You know, you open your eyes wide, they receive the light into your eyes, and it then sends it into your brain, and then it sends it through your brain into important areas that can improve mental functions such as your frontal cortex and other areas. So what and who is it for? Well, for this video, it's for people with seasonal affective disorder or seasonal depression. But as I mentioned, there are many, many other applications from just traditional joint pain, arthritis, but also other skin problems such as psoriasis, uh, and even more superficial cosmetic injuries on the outside of your skin. Just many, many applications. You could look them up for yourself and see if you qualify for some of these applications, qualify, uh, fall under some of these applications. But there are many different applications for light therapy. So I would think if you have some sort of ailment, you should potentially look up if it can be useful because there are many different forms of light therapy that can be many used for many different things. But primarily, it's for people with seasonal affective disorder that can, and seasonal affective disorder is obviously seasonal depression. It comes from a lack of sunlight in the winter months, can make you feel down, depressed, out of it, give you social withdrawal, really not wanting to check in, fatigue, can make you sleep a lot, and just really check out. And we don't want that. We want to be up and in the game. Now, when should you use it? When should you apply light therapy to your life? It says it's best used in the morning, right and early, 6 to 9 a.m. I say that as I woke up at 10.30 today. But I'm still using it now, and I personally have found benefits of using it not just in the morning, but really when as needed almost. 
but really as needed almost. I have used it during the day, throughout the day. I even last yesterday evening, I was feeling rather tired. I turned on the light and it gave me a boost again so I didn't fall asleep at 7 p.m. because the sun now goes down at 5.15. What is going on? As we will see an effect of disorder, light therapy is useful, but also you should potentially seek other treatments such as talk therapy, such as talk therapy and medications. There are other applications to help you out. Light therapy is best used in the morning though. Bright and early, give you a kickstart to your day. And I have found benefits in that, but also just using it throughout the day, really as needed I think is useful. And I've even Googled, is it can you use it too much? And there's no real limit on it, but I have seen that if you use it in the wrong way or in the wrong angle or for too long, it potentially give you a headache, maybe a little perturbed. So you gotta kind of feel it out. So it's best used in the morning and in the winter months, and you should see some improvement through a couple days, but definitely some improvement across two weeks. And most people even continue it through the winter and into the springtime just to get them through the cold, dark days. So why should you try it? Well, if you suffer from seasonal depression, I think you should try it because it's good just to have this in your back pocket. It's something that can help you out if you're feeling especially down because I think it can give you rather quick results. But also, you should try it if you just have any other ailments. Like I said, look up the other applications for light therapy. There are many, many different applications. And there's a good chance that if you have some sort of injury or ailment, that some sort of, some sort of light therapy can be beneficial to you and help you out. And why am I talking about this? Well, uh, it was a good idea for my dad. I didn't know what I wanted to talk about this week, so it felt right. So I decided to go with it. And I think it's something that I'm interested in, something that I have used a little bit and have seen progress with. So it's something that I want to tell the people about and let you guys know about and see, maybe if you guys want to do it for yourself. Obviously you don't have to, but I think it's something to explore because I've seen truly beneficial progress with it in just a short period of time. So if you would apply it to your life, if you're feeling down and out or had some sort of injury, it could help you out. Okay, this was a shorter video, but this is what I wanted to talk about this week. Nothing really crazy happened this past week. It was Thanksgiving. I was working high school basketball. I accidentally canceled a gig just minutes before I was supposed to work it. Took a big fat L, but I apologize for it. I've made up for it and I'm actually working with those people again today. So water under the bridge. But it was a good holiday weekend. It was good to see the fam, good to see the people. Uh, but that's it for this week's episode of the Procrastinate Podcast. I will see you in next week's episode when we talk about something else. See ya. Here is the light that I used, by the way. This is the little number right here. It's got these little legs and this big old light. And it's got two settings. <laughs> A little more dim setting. And then this one with all three lights on. But daylight, if you care to look it up. I think there's probably many, many different lights, but this is the one that I use.